Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited because today I am unpacking my Eno Couture scoops box. So I ordered this mm, probably like two weeks ago. It did unfortunately take about a week to pack a job, which is not unheard of during the holidays. And then it took about a week for it to get to me. Um, we've been having some weather nearby, so I think there were some slowdowns there. But I'm really excited because if you don't know, the brand Enel Couture does this at the end of the year. They do $20 scoops. And what they do is they put together a random assortment of some of the things that maybe they have extras of or that they have left over in order to make room for the upcoming year and their new products. So you get an amazing deal on tips and polishes. Let me grab the box here. So this is my package. Um, it doesn't even fit into frame with the way that I'm shooting. It's quite hefty. I would say mm, probably a good like eight pounds, seven pounds maybe, mm, maybe less. I haven't been working out recently, so it probably feels a little bit heavier than it usually is. But what I wanted to do is go through everything I got. I also ordered two of the one, two, three, go scoops, which are just for the, um, the tips. I love the Enel Couture tips. Um, I use it for my square sets because I was having trouble finding a real soft gel tip that were square and that fit well, were consistent, had nice shape to them. So I use them for my aquarium sets and my uh, square sets. So I thought I'd try some of their other tips and this is just a really great way to save money. So actually, let me start with the tips because oh my God. That's not even all of them. Guys, I think I have a problem. Okay, so let me kind of try to organize these and then I can go through them in a more organized fashion and it won't take an hour to do. Okay, dokie, let me try to rapid fire go through the tips. So the whole reason I ordered these, the first two scoops, the one, two, three, go tips was because it was an amazing deal. It was $10 for five packs of tips. Now, I can't remember how many come in each set, but I think it's like, mm, let me see, maybe like 20, 24 of each nail size. So it's a good amount. And for five, sorry, for five packs at $10, it's $2 a pack. Now granted, you don't get to pick what tips they send you, they just send you a random assortment. But to put it in perspective, I bought maximum square tips from Unail Couture that were $30 for one package. And don't get me wrong, the quality is there. It's worth it for me. But when I saw this deal, I couldn't not take advantage of it. And aside from the square ones, now I probably never need to buy tips again. So I'm going to start with the clear. I did get the mini stiletto. This is the size zero. So really nice, pretty shape. I got one pack of those, two pack of those, um, three packs of those. Um, and that's it. Okay, so I had three mini stiletto packs. And then I got two packs of these sculptured almond medium nails. So let me see what these look like. Okay, so they're very similar to the mini stilettos. Actually, let me see if I can pull out the one from this one too. Yep, there we go. Okay, so these are the mini stilettos. These are the sculptured almond. Honestly, they're almost identical. The only thing is the almond is a little bit more rounded at the tip. Whereas these right are more pointed, more of that popular stiletto shape. 
but very nice. Realistically, you could probably just file these down a little bit to be more of an almond shape if that's what you're into. Um, well, I suppose these are quite a bit thicker at the tip before they taper off. So yeah, they are different enough. But if you're looking for these shapes, these are the mini stiletto, these are the almonds, and that's how they're different. Okay, and then I also got two rounded shapes. Now, what I was really going for when I first ordered these one, two, three go sets was for their um, pipe, their XXL pipe tips. They are these round tips here. Let me show you what they look like. There's the one. So they are rounded shape like this, but the pipe ones are like this long. So they're your XXL tips, but in that rounded pipe shape, which I don't know. I feel like it's almost trendy right now, having the more rounded tips versus like an almond or a stiletto. So I wanted to try those, but unfortunately, um, I think I have in total like 33 bags of tips. And unfortunately, I did not get the rounded pipe tips, um, but I did get these. They're shorter, but still a good length. Now, I know some of these bags look more full than others, and people were confused on whether or not all of them had the same amount, and I believe they do. The only difference is that if you have longer tips, right, it needs to take up more space in the bag. So sometimes the shorter tips, like these are the oval shape, so rounded but shorter, are just going to take up less space because they are smaller overall. Alright, here's these ones. And these are a nice short round shape. I like these a lot actually. I'll probably use some of these myself because as much as I love extra long nails, it's hard for me to work with extra long nails on, I'll be honest. I got these frozen tips. So I have two frozen almond packages. When you open them up, they're really pretty clear with a silver glitter. I do like the Enel Couture almond shape. It's almost more of a stiletto, like it's very pointed, um, but I do think they look nice. So this is what they look like. And yeah, I just think this would be a great start to a set. Honestly, you could just put some charms onto it, add a little bit of nail art, or even use it as a second pattern underneath of a set. So I'm gonna start using these for some of my almond designs. And that way, um, if you order, you get like a nice little surprise on the underside of the nails. Yeah, I like these ones. The other clear with glitter sets that I got are these 24 karat gold sets. So I have the almond, which is the same shape that I just showed you, but with gold glitter. I have coffin and I have coffin. Um, these ones I like, don't get me wrong. Um, I think they're pretty. I also, however, I don't know, I think they're just a little bit too yellow tinted for me. I mean, well, actually when you only have one out, it looks fine. I definitely feel like if you are doing a design that is warm colored, these would work best because it does have that slight golden cast to it. I probably wouldn't use these for like a purple set, but I don't know, I haven't tried it. Maybe it looks fine. That's just my initial thoughts, is that these are quite warm in color. But they're pretty. I like the gold flakes. Maybe like a pink and gold set would be really nice. Um, red and gold, obviously yellow on top of this, orange, maybe even green. Um, I just don't know about like blues and purples. The yellow might come through. But yeah. Okay, and the last of the clear tips with glitter in them. Um, I was actually really hoping to get these as well. Unfortunately, I only got two packs in all of my 23 packages of nails and they're in the same shape, but hey, that means I have them probably in stock for a long time. These are gorgeous. These are the Sugar Glitter Pink Coffin Nails. 
And just like the 20 fair karat gold and the frozen nails, let me get the wands. I find it's easier to see shape on the bigger nails. So here are the ones. These are a gorgeous pink. So it is a jelly pink, it's transparent. And it has silver glitter in it. And honestly, I would just wear these on their own. They're nice and flexible at the end for that kind of application. And then the free edge is actually quite sturdy. Like I can't really bend this at all without immense pressure. You put a base coat and a top coat on this and you pop them on, you're probably pretty good to go. And they're very pretty on their own. And I can imagine they'd be an amazing base for other designs. Up next, I have the Dazzling Beige. So I have a pack of Dazzling Beige Almonds, a pack of Dazzling Beige Almonds, and another pack of Dazzling Beige, but this time in Coffin XXL. So these ones, instead of being like a transparent pink with some glitter, these are more of like a nudie color. Now on my screen, it's reading a lot more like gray and warm. Um, I'll probably have to do a little bit of color correcting when I go to edit this video because in real life, they are like a really pretty nudie pinky color. Um, and they have a really soft glitter to them. So I really like these as well. Um, I didn't know how I'd feel about these, but I like this color a lot and I like these tips. So since I have two of the Dazzling Beige Almond, some of these will be going into that giveaway. Now, please keep in mind all of the tips that I'm showing you are from two scoops of the one, two, three, go nails. So each scoop of those had five packages in them. And then my one full email couture scoop, the $20 scoop, it had, I think about 13 packs of tips. Up next, I have the Honey Peach Coffin. These are not the XXL coffin, so these are their regular coffin legs. But they're a nice, like, peachy nude color. A little more peachy than the last tips, the Dazzling Beige. These ones are definitely more warm, whereas those ones are a little bit more cool, more true pink. But these are really nice as well. These would be a really good base for nail art. Then I have these Eternal Beige almond tips and Eternal Beige coffin tips. So this color, it's called the Eternal Beige and I don't get it, I'll be honest. It's very much like a peachy color. Um, don't get me wrong, it's a pretty color. Especially if you pull out one. It's like a, a nice peachy pink, right? But it's, I don't know, beige to me as a little bit more, maybe like cool toned, almost like a warm gray, but I, I could be wrong, I don't know. I um, I just always associate a beige with more of like a, uh, you know, like a skin tone color. This is, it reads very like, And then, last but not least, I got one set of Princess Pink Almond. Now, these are true pink. Like, these are just a really nice light pink. Um, I do wish I had gotten more of these because I think the color is gorgeous. Um, slightly transparent so that when you apply the nail, uh, the lamp can go through and Cure the gel underneath, but it is a very pretty light pink. That again would make just a great base for other colors. So I had always purchased the clear nail tips because 
I, you know, I'm a nail artist, so my whole thing is I do designs. But honestly, I think these are such a great option for saving you time, right? You can buy a pre-colored tip and then if your plan is to do like a pink set with an all pink background, you can just order these and then put your nail art on top of it and it saves you all the time of going through and putting your base coat of color on. So I'm really excited to get to try all of these tips. Like I said, I will do a giveaway um, and I'll explain at the end of the video what the rules are, but I, I think these grab bags are just so fun and it's always really exciting to see what you get. So that is all the tips. The rest of the products that I'm going to show now are from the full scoop. So I had two one, two, three go tip scoops and then an actual full scoop worth $20. In hindsight, I should have just gotten the $20 scoop right off the bat. I bought the tip set because I wasn't sure quite how many tips would come in a scoop. And so I wanted to ensure that I got the tips that I wanted because really that was what I was in this for. So when I initially ordered, I purchased the two one two three go scoops for just the tips, and I kept watching more and more Enel Couture scoops videos on YouTube, and it just I'm weak. Okay, it really made me want to buy my own, and I was lucky enough to get a really big order on Etsy. So I went over my budget and got myself a scoop. Now, granted, I didn't go far over my budget. The nice thing is they're only $20, which is insane to me. So first thing that I got is all this glitter. Comes with black, silver, like a clear, a duo shift, maybe even hollow. This one has like a purple shift to it and then just a silver hollow. Then I got this gummy jelly. From my understanding, this is just like a solid nail glue. Let me see if it's open or if I have to peel off. Mm. Yeah, I don't really wanna peel off the protective covering right now, but let me see if we can see which shade. I have no idea what shade it is either. Maybe pink? I don't know. But I've heard good things about this. Um, I love solid nail glue. I think it's so fun to sculpt with. That's mainly what I use it for. But you can use this to adhere your full cover tips as well. One thing I gotta give to Enel Couture, look at their packaging. This is so cute. It's like some sort of Rococo era little makeup pot that you might have on your desk. So that's just adorable. I purchased this on my own before when I've ordered tips. This is their matte top coat. And again, look at this packaging. It's so cute. I just had to share it. I thought it was really adorable. I'll be honest, I don't love the top coat. The top coat is really smooth. It goes on nicely but I almost feel like it's soft. Like, I know that matte top coats tend to be softer, but that one just feels particularly soft, but that might just be me. Okay, back to the scoop. I also got the monomer. So this is the, I think, cotton candy monomer. From my understanding, it doesn't smell that bad. I'm not gonna open this one right now but I have purchased monomer from them before, the like low scented monomer. I um, mean, it really wasn't bad, especially compared to some other monomers I've tried. Oh my God, I have a very sensitive nose. So the other monomers, I just, I couldn't work with. They were giving me a headache like right away, even with a fan going on. So I'm excited to try this one, even though I don't really work in acrylic that much, I do want to get into doing more. Um, acrylic sculpting of flowers and other things. Speaking of the monomer, I also got this fun neon acrylic. So this is neon rose. It's a nice little pot of acrylic powder. Oh yeah, this is just something I could play around with. I don't really do full acrylic nails, but I do again want to play around with sculpting with acrylic. I got 
two nail polishes. So these are gel polishes. They have swatches on the top, which is nice. So let's get this one first. This is 075. I'm not sure what collection it's from. It's like a nice gray with hollow glitter. Let me see. Again, like a gray color with rainbow shift glitter in it. Um, I kind of wonder, let me pull out a magnet here. Just out of curiosity, I wanna see if this is cat eye. Probably not, I'm pretty sure their cat eye comes in a different type of bottle. Yeah, nope, just regular. That's okay though, it's still pretty. Does anyone else have this issue? I have so many different magnets that come with all the different cat eye gels that I try out. And I just... Every time I store them, no matter how I store them, they end up like this. Any recommendations um, on how to avoid this mess? The other polish I got is this pretty blue. So this is a nice bright blue. It's kind of like a sky blue. Maybe a little bit darker though. Here's what it looks like. I have never tried the Enel Couture gels. Um, aside from the, the matte top coat. I just, there are other gel brands that I really like, um, so I haven't tried their gels. So, I don't know. Let's see how these perform. Up next, I was sent some brush wipes. So, these are just little lint-free brush wipes. They look nice. They're large, which actually I enjoy. Because usually I get the little, like, half sheets, and I feel like I use 20 on a specific set, which probably really bad. I, I need to cut back on how many I'm using, but um, yeah, I can always use brush wipes. I did get a little brush organizer. So this is cute. Um, let me stuff inside. Oh, okay. And I got a file or two files actually and a little cuticle pusher. Let's see. Just a little 100, 100 grit file and what a, oh, a 240. Okay. Oh, wow. That's so smooth. Um, I haven't actually used anything that's like a 240 other than a buffing block. Usually it's a like 100 and 180 grit files. So very nice. I'm excited to try these out too. Okay. I'll just put those back in there for now. But yeah, a cute little brush case that I could probably use just for uh, organizing and storage and whatnot. I was also sent an apron. Very cool. So I'm not gonna take this out now, but it is just a cute little, looks like water resistant maybe even, washable apron. And then I got nail foils. So <laughs> when I had purchased tips early on in the season, um, I actually bought a bunch of nail foils because these were on sale for a dollar each. Like the whole box was a dollar. I can't remember when this one was. I think it was in the summertime. So I have oodles of nail foils. Um, I'm kind of another, actually, let me show you. So I picked up from Walmart, like one of those basic craft organizers it has 18 compartments. And I swear to God, I probably took like 10 of these little things, re-ruled them a little bit tighter so that each one could fit into one compartment. And I reorganized all my new foils because I don't have room. Um, I am an addict. I've been purchasing nail products like crazy ever since I really got back into nail art here in the last maybe a year or so and with the accessibility of all these fun charms and everything 
on Amazon and online through like AliExpress. Um, I've had to set myself a budget. I can only spend so much on nail products a month. Otherwise, I will go broke. Um, I live off of a teacher salary, so I don't have like a crazy amount to spend on nail products. And I also don't have a ton of room to be storing nail products. So yeah, I went in and I re-rolled all of the nail foils and put them in this little organizer because this is a lot more manageable than like 10 of these hanging around. Um, so yeah, I'll have to go through and take all of these and reorganize them into here as well. But here are the ones I got. So this is like a fun floral set. A little bit more out there with the hollow. This is definitely out there. This is like a hollow leopard print set. Reminds me of like Lisa Frank. Am I showing my age there? I loved Lisa Frank when I was in elementary school. Um, these two are very kind of like Lisa Franky neon pastel -y colors. These are fun. They're like a black with hollow and different designs. Kind of like the stars. I think that would be fun for like a galaxy set. These are cool. They're like oil slick nails almost or marble. And then some more flowers. I might actually give away some of these foils too because I just, I mean, you saw how many I already have. Um, I'm never gonna use them all. So if there are any duplicates, I might give those away too. Last but not least, I got some stickers. And that was the scoop. All right, so let me go ahead and organize these all for a thumbnail. And while I'm organizing, let me tell you my thoughts. So I heard about these scoops from other channels when they were ordering scoops around the holidays. Um, he actually started selling these, I think in like November. And I just, I was late to the game. I didn't think I initially wanted any because again, I already have so much nail stuff that I was like, what am I gonna do with a scoop of random nail products? And then the FOMO caught up with me and I decided that maybe I really do need, you know, more random nail products. So I ordered myself a scoop, a $20 scoop. That though was in January. Can't remember exactly the order date, but it was early January, probably around like the 6th, maybe the 9th. Okay, I lied. It was the 16th. I checked my packing slip. It is the 28th today. So it did take 12 days to get to me, which is not bad at all, um, considering they're a small business, um, small er business. I don't know if I could still say they're small business, but um, is it worth it? So this is what I got for $20. I got the apron, the two polishes, the monomer, the acrylic, the gummy jelly, six packs of foils, two sets of stickers, the nail box, and the Lux wipes. Oh, and I forgot the 13 sets of tips that I already went through, okay? Those tips, typically when they're sold, go from anywhere from $10 to like $30, depending. So the tips themselves are worth it. His monomer, the lowest I've seen it is like $5. Polishes, the lowest I've seen are like $6. The gummy jelly, uh, I think typically it's like $10. These are $6 normally. The lowest I've seen again was that $1 sale in midsummer. Stickers are usually a dollar. This box I think is like $5 on his website. Same with the brush wipes. So again, is it worth it? Oh, and even in the box, I forgot. You get the files, right? And the files I think are a couple bucks each. Yes, it's totally worth it. However, let me give some advice. I got FOMO, so I ordered mine late. I ordered mine January, after the holidays. If you go back and you look up on YouTube some of the people who are getting their scoops in November and December, that is the time to do it. 
if I have to give any advice here, I would say get your scoops back in November and December, right when they go on sale. I think it's harder to get them, but those individuals were getting so much in their scoops. We're talking like four things of nail polish. We're talking multiple things of gummy jelly, um, alcohol inks, little, those little circle, um, things of charms multiple sets of stickers okay the same amount of foils the same amount of tips so if you order early in the season i don't know if it's going to be the same next season but from what i've seen online what i've experienced um order early you get a lot more for your money is this worth it absolutely okay especially if you want the tips do it for the tips i love the enel couture tips however if you're looking for like a nice variety of goodies to try, I would recommend earlier. So order in November, order in December, and then those packages seem to come with a lot more. Still a good deal, but a better deal if you order earlier. So um, that's kind of all I have for you today. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm hoping to get out some kind of like work with me videos where I show you how I brainstorm my designs and how I go about doing some actual nail art. I unfortunately had big plans for the Christmas break. I teach high school so I do get two weeks off for Christmas and I was like, I'm going to make all this content. I have a bunch of haul videos that I want to film. And then I got sick and then I got bronchitis. So I lost my voice for about two weeks. Um, I couldn't talk normally. I am just getting to the point where I have like the high end of my voice back and I'm not always cracking my voice like a 13 year old boy so that's where i'm at i'm hoping to do those videos soon i also have some zillaboo hauls coming out and some sweetie nail supply hauls in the works those i'm really excited for it's kind of my first real dive into korean gel brands i've gotten a few things here and there but i haven't made like big orders because they're so expensive but um, I did ask for some things for Christmas and my lovely family and boyfriend decided to spoil me with some Korean gels. So look out for those videos too. Check out the rest of my channel for tutorials and my YouTube shorts. My Instagram will be linked below in the description as well. If you want to check out my artwork, same with my Etsy. If you'd like to order a nail set from me, I do take custom design orders. Thank you so much for stopping by. Bye.